what the heck is going on out there regarding wine preservation? Even though there's no visual way to be sure that they're working, no one seems to question these primary wine preservers. They continue to live on through urban legend. All of the continual articles in magazines, comments by bloggers, posts by food critics every year, especially around the holidays, touting these wine preservers without a clear scientific understanding of how or if they work. Clearly, one of the most popular is the vacuum pump which there seem to be endless versions out there right now. There are several published articles discussing that scientifically they can't provide enough of a vacuum to be effective and potentially suck out some of the great aromas in the wine. There are articles and scientific tests back from 1988 as part of a Wall Street Journal article and another in a major wine publication discussing lack of effectiveness. But these publications and many others continue to host articles to the contrary every year perpetuating the urban legend. Let's do a visual. Come with me. I have one of these rubber stopper type devices and what I've tried to do here is try to color the air and the way I've done that is by introducing smoke into a half a bottle of wine. So I have one of these rubber stoppers in here. Let's take one of these vacuum devices and see what happens. Now I'm just going to start pumping. Now I can smell some smoke coming out from somewhere. I can smell it. I'm going to keep pumping here. Let's see what happens here eventually. All right, now that I have one of these rubber stopper devices that says that you can quit pumping after you hear that noise. So I've quit pumping, but clearly you can see there's still smoke filled air and it didn't evacuate the entire bottle clearly. So obviously, uh, I guess some vacuum is better than none, but there's still a lot of air in there. It can't be totally vacuumed out. Now this, on the other hand, this looks pretty sealed. There is not much air in contact with this piece of fish. Now that is a vacuum. Thanks for listening. Please watch my other video on gas preservation. I hope we've been able to dispel some urban legend and we can now all move on to some better and more effective wine preservation methods. Cheers.